Hey, I'm Fucci, and welcome to Tiny Kitchen Big Taste. We have got a great show for you today. We are going back to the homeland for Mama Fucci's lasagna roll-ups. Now, I always talk about my dad or my grandpa in the kitchen. Well, this one is all about mom. This is her recipe. Are y'all ready? Then bring it. So what you're gonna need is ricotta cheese, frozen spinach that has been thawed, mozzarella cheese, parmesan cheese, one egg, about six lasagna noodles, nutmeg, black pepper, cooking spray, and a basic tomato sauce. And the recipe is available for this on our website. You'll also need a large pot and tongs, small mixing bowl and mixing spoon, aluminum foil, a baking pan, silicone spatula, baking sheet, measuring cup, and measuring spoons. We start by combining our cheeses. First, the ricotta cheese, our mozzarella cheese. I'm going to do about a half a cup and save about a quarter a cup for topping off at the end. And then the Parmesan cheese a frozen bag of spinach. This is an eight ounce bag that I've completely thawed and squeezed out all the liquid. A little bit of black pepper and my mom's secret ingredient, nutmeg. Finally, we'll add one beaten egg. This will help to make the filling all come together. We give this a nice mix. If you're in the mood for the traditional lasagna, go ahead and use pepperoni, some ground beef, and when it's all thoroughly mixed together, the fun begins. I have already pre-cooked our lasagna noodles. I usually cook them for about a minute less in whatever the package directions say, and then I fish them out with the tongs, lay them on a large plate or a baking sheet just like this, spray them with a little cooking spray, and then they won't stick together. Now, I usually put about a quarter cup of the filling onto the noodle and then use the spatula to spread it out. This is great for kids too, so if you got kids, get them involved in the fun. Once you've got the filling all laid out, start closest to you and just start rolling it up. And then you see this little seam, you're gonna place it seam side down into your baking pan. Now this baking pan, I'm just using a bread pan, but I have layered it with just a real thin layer of tomato sauce there on the bottom. That'll keep it from sticking. After we've got our little spinach lasagna roll-ups all snug and tight in their bed here, we're gonna go ahead and top it off with the rest of the tomato sauce. Cover this with aluminum foil, and I'm gonna pop this in a 375 degree oven for 45 minutes. So after it's been cooking for 45 minutes, the smell is amazing. We're gonna top it off with the rest of the mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna pop this back in the oven for 10 more minutes. I am so excited about how these turned out. It could not look more beautiful and it's got the big flavor to back it up. Now, I love this recipe because you can make them in advance, you can keep them in the freezer and it makes a great after work dinner. Now I am going to dive in and give this a little taste. Mm. My mom would be proud. Hey. If you like this recipe, you can find it on our website. You can also check us out at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm Fucci reminding you that if I can make Mama Fucci spinach lasagna roll-ups in a kitchen this tiny, you can make them in yours. We'll see you next time on Tiny Kitchen Big Taste. Now I'm making spinach uh, <clears throat> Now I'm making spinach cheese roll-ups today, but if you got meat eaters or if you like your tradition, I'm making spinach cheese. Mm.